Hi all, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Twin Peach Cross and I hope you're doing okay. Today is a collaboration with a good friend of mine, Fletch, who has Smelly Cat Creations on Instagram and on YouTube and I'll link both down below. He made some geometric shapes on Instagram and I suggested to him that they would look great with resin in. So he came back to me and said, yes, we should do a collab. I jumped at it. He's amazing. He's got so many strings to his bow. He does, uh, he does all sorts of cutting and um, engraving and all sorts. You check him out. He's brilliant. Anyway, this is what he sent me. I was, I was gobsmacked. This is huge. <laughs> it really is. It's bigger than my head and I can't wait to try it. I really can't. It's cut out so, so, so well. And I'm thinking all sorts of colours here. I really am. He's sent me two. This is just one of them. The other one's a wolf. I really, really like the lion. Soon as my birth sign is Leo and my hair is like a lion, I've got to do this one, haven't I? So yeah, let's see how I get on with this one. Go away. So to start with then, I've sprayed it black. I've taken it to garage and just sprayed it black around the edges not on the back and I'm going to cover the back with sticky tape now this sticky tape I got I think from Aliexpress I'll put all the links below it is a really good sticky tape it's just right for half of this so I've got enough to do the whole lot by splitting it in half and lapping it over in the middle it's a little tricky but it's very strong tape Now this does come from Aliexpress and I may not purchase it again because it takes so long to get here but I will, like I said, link everything down below. So it doesn't really matter to me if this isn't perfectly flat because you can always cover the back with felt with another layer of resin. So although I don't want any colours to go between the sections, I'm not too worried if it's not flat at the back. So although I'm making sure, I'm pushing it down so that everything is covered, everything is stuck, I'm not too worried if there's ripples in it. Second piece, and it will be overlapping the first piece just to make sure the resin doesn't come through the gaps. going over the whole thing with the lolly stick to make sure everything is stuck to that frame. So now I've trimmed up around the outside so there's just a little bit of plastic overlapping and I'm going to go over the whole thing with clear resin. That's to seal the edges. I've not seen anyone else do that but I think it makes sure that resin doesn't seep between each panel. So it's just a thin layer. That's why I'm doing it with a paintbrush. Just a very thin layer over the entire thing. And this is 24 hours later. Now you can see there's gaps, but that doesn't matter. It, it's just to seal the edges and to the wood so there's no bubbles. Now there are lots of colors I'm using here and I will list everything below in the description as best as I can. I'll also try and put it up on the screen if it's not there already. And I do mix the colors as I'm going around. It's not just standard, these are the colors that I'm using. I mix them together and I'll explain a little bit more about that later. There's a lot of colors in this a lot mopper crafts they are on Etsy now I got those originally from eBay but I saw them out on Etsy so I'll put a link to their Etsy as well PPP I haven't found recently, that was a eBay purchase years ago. I did try to use mostly brands that you can get hold of.
So I'm starting now with these eyes and I'm using a little bit of resin. I've mixed up a fair bit in the background and I'm just pouring it gently into the areas that I want. Obviously the whites of the eyes and I'm using a micro brush just to push it into areas where it's not going. It doesn't have to be completely flush to the top of the form. There's a little bit of grey in his nose. And now I'm starting to mix black into white to make grey. Any spillages are taken off with cotton buds. And I'm choosing a colour and I'm mixing it slightly with the next colour to carry on round. Now you'll see later that the resin is starting to get thick and it becomes harder to use when it's thick because you're getting it into tiny areas. So if I did it again, I wouldn't mix up so much to start with, but I did do, I did fill this piece over two days. So each time I'm pouring a colour, I'm adding or changing the colour slightly. You can see there I've just used like a white-ish and I'm adding the next colour to it just a slightly and then next next two I'm adding the next colour and next two I'm adding the next colour. I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well here but it's kind of just just tipping it to the next colour so when I get to a place where it's near the next colour I just change completely to the next colour. There, for instance, it's red. I've gone on to the red. So the next one is gonna be red with a little bit of purple and then a little bit more of purple. And I'm adding a little bit of clear each time and then a little bit more of purple until it gets to the purple color. So now it's more purple than it is red. And then I'm adding a darker purple and I'm going on down. Now the following day, I move on to the bottom and I'm using the Perlex Grey Lavender and I'm gonna start with a light color in the bottom and I'm gonna add gently to the darker color to get it up to the purple. I'm going backwards with this because I wanted to start with a really light color. So this is the following day. So, so far this is how it looks and I'm loving it. But it needs a little bit more. These glitters are iridescent glitters with UV resin. Again, everything's going to link below. I bought these glitters from a Facebook group called Resin Supplies Den. If you've never heard of them, go and check them out. They're a small Facebook group that sells everything to do with resin. They've got several people that sell different types of things and this, these glitters come from there and they are amazing. And they're very reasonably priced as well. So check out Resin Supplies then. Now what I'm going to be doing is using a little micro brush and this is UV resin with the glitter and I'm just going to be placing it where I want it on the piece. I could have added glitter into the mica powder and the pigments, but you can't really control glitter. It spreads within resin. So by doing it this way, I can actually put it where I want it. I'm not gonna show you the entire glitter sequence because it's repetitive, but it's the same thing. Just change the glitter and do it again. And I have a good UV lamp that will cure this in a few minutes. 
Okay, before I show you the finished pieces, because I did both of them, yeah, I couldn't just not do both of them. I just got some stickers. I keep forgetting these. It's awful. I don't know why I forget them, but I do. First of all, we've got Northside Custom Crafts, which is Jake Thompson. His sticker will be going on the board. We have Towers of the Tinkridge, which is Andy Pugh. Thank you, Andy. We have Making a Better Life, which is Di. Huge sticker, I only just managed to get room on the board for that one. And we have Webfoot Resin and Wood Creations, and that's David. Now, I don't think David has a YouTube channel at the moment, but he's big on Instagram, so go. I will put all their links down below. Thank you very much for those stickers. I'm gonna to have to get a bigger board. <laughs> Thank you very much for sending me those stickers. If you wanna do a sticker swap, please get in contact. I'm always up for a sticker swap. Now, I've done the fox, and I can't decide whether it's a wolf or a fox. I think it's a wolf. What do you think? Is that a wolf or is that a fox? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's freaking awesome, isn't it? It's so big. It's hanging on my wall downstairs, and I reluctantly took it off to show you. That's how much I like it. I left the wood plain, and I didn't do anything fancy other than the colours, which are gold and copper and bronze. A little bit of brown and obviously the grey and white. I love him. Isn't it amazing? This is such a big um, geometric shape as well. And they're so well cut out. So well. And the lion. The lion! <gasps> oh my god! Sorry, squirrel alert. I love it! Look at it! Now there is a little bit here where the UV resin popped up above the top coat, but I'm, I'm happy with that. that. I mean, that's on my wall and I absolutely love him. He sparkles every time you look at him, he's a different sparkle. These glitters are from Resin Supplies Den, a little Facebook group, you may have heard of them. Go check them out, I'll put the link down below as well. They are amazing. The holographic glitters, they're gorgeous. And they're all these different colours and I try to match the colours of the glitter with what was underneath. He's amazing, I love him. I'll put some stills up at the end. I'm not going to keep going on about it. Come back and see me again next week. You never know what I'm going to get up to. Thanks very much for joining me. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye for now. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel Stars, I wanna drive a faster car, nothing